you might be thinking, how are you late on your own poll? How are you late on that? Listen, listen. Lou Reed, Lou Reed, Velvet Underground, you may know him. Um, <laughs> uh, we're listening to his solo work today. I put in a poll, you know, what album should I listen to from 1970? And you guys said this one. Uh, although mostly every comment um, in the fucking poll said for me to do the Milton Club Day Esquia something. Uh, y'all want me to do that one? If y'all want me to do, to do that, I, I will do this. I, I will do that one right after this video. If y'all truly want that. Because it seemed like more people d did want that. Even though Transformer 1. I'm curious to see if I like his solo work more than the two Velvet Underground albums that I listened to. One did get blocked though from this website. Uh, I will try to fix it if you guys want me to. Number one. Uh, vicious. Okay. Fuck this person. The thing I liked most about that was the uh, kind of rhythm and groove of the, of the whole entire song. I found it to be kind of catchy. I I, I kind of liked it. I kind of liked it. His songwriting a little threw me off a little bit. I'm not too sure what a gay blade is, but this person's calling Lou Reed it and he's offended. He's offended that he's being called a gay blade. You know, they're showing him love and evil at the same time. You know, they're hitting him with a flower. He, they're, she's slapping him across the face with a fucking flower. Let's get into this next one. Andy's chest. I would be a bat and come swooping after you. Aww. And if the last time you were here, things were a bit askew. Well, you know what happens after dark And all the missionaries lose their bark Bark Oh, all the tr- If I could be any one of the things In this world that bite Instead of the tension ocelot on a leash I'd rather be a kite And all the cheap blood suckers are flying after you Yesterday, Daisy, May, and Biff were grooving on the street. And just like in a movie, her hands became her feet. Her belly button was her mouth, which meant she tasted what she'd speak. Woo! But the funny thing is what happened to her nose. And melting ice cap mountaintops for you. It seems like Daisy May and Bliff are sort of transforming. It seems like they're transforming. They're kind of becoming some crazy creatures. And that's it. Uh, what I've noticed about the sound so far is that he's definitely teetering between spoken word and singing in general. So definitely more of a storytelling kind of angle. Um, I like that track kind of. Not as much as the first one. Let's get into number three, which is Perfect Day. Some piano. This is new. Just a perfect day. Drink sangria in the park. And then later, when it gets dark, we go home. Then later, a movie too, and then home. Sounds like a great day. Oh, it's such a perfect day. Oh, I'm glad I spent it with you. Oh, such a perfect day. You just keep me hanging on. You just keep me hanging on. Oh, yeah, 
that's a banger, bro. You made me forget myself. I thought I was someone else, someone good. Oh, it's such a perfect day. I'm glad I spent it with you. You're going to read just what you saw. You're going to read just what you saw. That didn't even feel like a fucking Lou Reed song. That, that didn't even feel like him, you know, because I just got the instrumentation and the piano. Um, I think what I loved is that, you know, he's kind of calm during the verses. And then, you know, he sort of brings in a lot of energy during the chorus. And it makes it very, it makes it very impactful. His lyrics, too, also being super honest. You know, this person he's with makes him feel, you know, like, like a better person. Yeah, I'm not sure if I'll find another song off here that I like more because, honestly, I, th I think that that song was perfect perfect um let's hop into track number four which is hanging around Oh, I like that guitar in the ending. I feel like I don't have much to talk about there, to be honest. Um, kind of a four-person diss track. I don't know if these people are real. Um, they all seem very different. Um, but they, maybe they're all in his life. You know what I'm saying? He's kind of like, hey, you guys are still doing these bad habits that I, I've been quitting. So you, you, you gotta, you gotta get the fuck out of my life. You, you guys just keep bringing him down, hanging around him. So get, get out of here. Track number five is Walk on the Wild Side. I like that bass. Holly came from Miami, FLA. Hitchhiked away across USA. Plucked her eyebrows on the way. Shaved her legs and then he was a she. She says, hey babe, take a walk on the wild side. Said, hey honey. Oh wait. I feel like I, I've heard that sang before. But she never lost her head. Even when she was given head, she says, Hey, babe, take a walk on the wild side. Take a walk on the wild side. And the colored girls go, Do, 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 Does that line mean what I think it means? New York City is the place where they said, Hey, babe, take a walk on the wild side. I said, Hey, Joe, take a walk on the wild side. To the Apollo, you should have seen him go, go, go. They said, Hey, sugar, take a walk on the wild side. Then I guess she had to crash. Valium would have helped that patch. They said, Hey, babe, take a walk on the wild side. I said, Hey, honey, take a walk on the wild side. And the colored girls say, Do, 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 do. Oh, they're getting closer musically i was a big fan i was a big fan of that i liked his vocals i like i liked his kind of little like i said earlier mixture of like spoken words and singing at the same time take a walk on the wild side might just be a saying as hey let's 
just give it given the temptation a little bit you know what i'm saying get, let's get a little crazy let's get a little sinful and you know that's just he's just kind of explaining in his in his world what other people are doing what their ideas of take a walk on the wild side are whether it's lust uh, or other things that i couldn't really make out um let's get into number six which is makeup <laughs> I don't like this instrumental. I don't like the trombone. It sounds lovely, made out of lace, and all the things that you do to your face. You're a slick little girl. Now we're coming out, out of our closets. I'm sure you are. Just, just my opinion. I just don't like the trombone. A good song otherwise i guess he's kind of talking about um this girl using, using kind of makeup as maybe a disguise to kind of hide herself and hide some shit from the world and he's like hey you're so slick you know he kind of gets a you know a behind the scenes you know side of her earlier in the album he's like hey don't call me gay blade don't accuse me of being a gay blade and on this he's like hey, i'm coming out of the closet so i don't know what I don't know what he's doing. Let's get into number seven, which is Satellite of Love. Satellite's gone up to the skies. Things like that drive me out of my mind. I like to watch things on TV. Who doesn't? Satellite of I like this. Satellite's gone way up to Mars. Soon it'll be filled with park and cars. I watched it for a little while. I love to watch things on TV. Me too. I've been told that you've been bold with Harry, Mark, and John. Monday and Tuesday, Wednesday to Thursday with Harry, Mark, and John. Satellite of love. Satellite of love. Satellite of love. Satellite. Maybe they're bringing they're they're bringing people to Mars with the satellites. They're kind of and he's watching it on the TV. Maybe he's feeling a little bit of FOMO that they're going to make love on Mars and he's not really there for it, so he's kind of jealous. Yeah, I like that. I think I like that's my second favorite so far. The chorus and his vocal effects on the chorus kind of felt similar to what was happening on Perfect Day. So I feel like that kind of style of song with the chorus is kind of the main you no know, focus. I I tend to gravitate towards and like more as well. So yeah, I, I thought it was a pretty cool song. Pretty cool song. Pretty brief message as well. Yeah, let's get into the track number eight, which is Wagon Wheel. Won't you be my wagon wheel? Stop, stop. Won't you tell me, baby, how do you feel? Just kick her in the head and rearrange her. Oh, heaven. She's done to me is making me crazy. You gotta live, yeah, your life as though you're number one. Yeah, you gotta live, yeah, your life and make a point of having some fun. Shake me, don't, don't let me sleep too long. Don't wanna miss it now.
wake this man up. That was dope. I liked I liked the I liked the low points of that song. I I, I thought they were pretty dope. I liked the high points as well. You know, and also like the background vocals kind of pushing him pushing him inward more. So that was kind of cool. Nice little follow-up song to number seven. Maybe we're gonna end off this album pretty strong. Track number nine is New York telephone conversation i was sleeping gently napping when i heard the phone who is on the other end talking am i even home did you see what she did to him did you hear what they said just a new york conversation rattling in my head openings closings bed reparte everybody knows Oh, how sad, and why do we call? Oh, I'm glad to hear from you all. If I can't be with you. Nice little ditty. It'll kill him if he's not there. It'll kill him if he's not there. So get get my man Lou in there. Track number 10 is I'm So Free. Let's get into that. My foot is falling asleep. I don't know. Then we went down to Times Square, and ever since I've been hanging around there. I like I like the positive cuts. I like the positive cuts. Kind of similar vibes and lyrics to, you know, Perfect Day, where he just kind of feels pretty free, pretty open with this person. So, I like that a lot. Once again, to compliment the background vocals as well, I feel like they bring a lot to the song. And yeah, I was a big fan of that guitar on the last little bit right there. I feel like we close out that song really nicely. Nice little fade out right there. Get into this last song, which is Good Night, Ladies. <laughs> Good night, lady. I just don't like the trombone. It's not for me. Ladies, good night. It's time to say. Now, all night long, you've been drinking your tequila. But now you've sucked your lemon peel dry So why not get high, high? ladies, good night I take it back. I take it back. I like this song, actually. It's time to say goodbye Good night, sweet ladies Bye-bye. Bye-bye. But now it's time to get high. Come on, let's get high, high, high. And good night, ladies. Ladies, good night. I put another record on my stereo. But I'm still singing a song of you. It's a lonely Saturday night. This man is TV. He loves oh, that TV. Whoa, whoa. Something tells me that you're really gone. You said we could be friends, but that's not what I want. Ah, anyway, my TV dinner's almost done. It's a lonely Saturday night. I mean to tell you, it's a lonely Saturday night. Okay, they're trying to friends on him. They're trying to they're trying to friends on him, and he's like, Nah, I don't want that. You know, I want I want something more. I want to be something more. 
But yeah, pretty sad way to go out, you know? I feel like that's the kind of instrumentation we hear, you know, when, like, the movies has, like, a good ending. When the, it's, like, a it's like a, like a 50s, 60s movies and it has, like, a good ending, you know? But that was, like, good ending, optimistic, instrumental, and there's just pretty bad, dark lyrics. You know, he kind of seems defeated, you know? Sitting down alone at the TV, turning it on, he's going to eat alone at the TV. It's kind of sad. It's a, bit, it's a bit of a bummer way to go out. But it definitely felt like a pretty good outro, though. I felt like it was a strong, strong way to go out. Uh, thoughts on this album? Thoughts on this album? I think a lot of this sound uh, is kind of rough on me so far, to be honest. I think I admired a lot about it, though. I, I, I'm glad that... The thing I'm glad about most is that it's not a Velvet Underground record. You know, it didn't... Although I've only heard two records, I, I, it's not didn't really sound like anything that that band would make. It, it didn't really sound rough. It, it felt pretty smooth. You know, from start to finish, you really kind of, you really do feel like you're in New York in the fucking seventies. You know, when when he's singing, so I feel like you know it's just a good way to time travel back to that time period. Do I think a lot of these have replay value? Do I think a lot? I I, I would go back to a lot of these. I think the ones that I like the most are probably Perfect Day, Satellite of Love, and Wagon Wheel. Those are the ones that I I, th I think I'm gonna find myself actually returning to. Vicious as well. I, th I think I did like. I kind of wish that this was maybe another two or three tracks longer. To be honest, I feel like this is a pretty fast 36 minutes, you know. And I I've, I've listened to 36 minute records that you know take take a minute. If I want to listen to another solo Lou Reed record, let me know. If if I want to listen to another Velvet Underground record, feel free to let me know. Uh, I'll be dropping another poll for the year after this one soon. Um, but yeah, thank you for being here, and I will catch you in the next one.